In this demonstration, we're going to go over how to log into the Google Chrome browser with your TCDSV account when you're already logged into the Chrome browser with another account, for example, a personal Gmail account. This allows us to quickly and easily switch between a school and one or more personal accounts without having to log in and out multiple times. To start, I've opened up the Google Chrome browser and have opened a blank Google search page. If I go to the top right corner of my screen, next to the address bar, I can see that I'm logged into the Chrome browser with an account over here. If you're not logged into the Chrome browser with any accounts, you'll see a gray faceless head and shoulders. You can still follow along with this tutorial, but you can also view our tutorial titled Logging into Google Chrome browser with your school account linked in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and click on this top smaller circle. And I can see here that I am logged into a few accounts. To add my TCDSB Google account, I'm going to go to the bottom of the menu and click on Add. This will bring up a screen that asks me to name my account. Because it's a school account and students would call me Miss K, I'm just going to put that into the name box so that I can easily recognize between my different accounts. You can choose a picture for your account, but I do have one that's assigned to my school account already. So I'm not going to go ahead and choose anything because it will automatically preload once I finish the login. And at the bottom here, you have an option to create a desktop shortcut for this user. So if you leave this clicked on, on your desktop, there will be a, a Google Chrome icon that will take you directly into your Google Chrome browser signed into this school account. I'm just going to click it off, but it's up to you what you choose to do. I'm going to go ahead and click Add now. This will take me to a page um, where I'm going to choose already a Chrome user sign in. The TCDSB staff and students all have a TCDSB Google account, so you don't have to create anything. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And on this next page, I'm going to enter my TCDSB username at tcdsb.ca. I'm going to go ahead and click next. On this page, I'm going to enter my TCDSB username and password. Note that I don't have to put at tcdsb.ca on this page. And sign in. You can save your password. I'm not going to do that at this point. This next page just asks me to verify that this is the account I'm trying to sign into. And yes, I recognize it, so I'm going to click continue. Over on this next pop-up, I'm going to click link data. Because it's a board managed account, the school board has purchased certain extensions, for example, that it automatically has pushed down to all staff and students in the board. So we have two licenses, for instance, Equatio and Read and Write that all staff and students have access to. And by clicking link data, I'm going to access all the tools that the board has purchased for me. So I'm going to click link data. And this next pop-up uh, is asking me to sync. So when you turn on your sync, um, any information like your search history or your bookmarks, um, when you're logged into this account will be available on any other device as long as you're logged in. So if, for instance, when I was at school and I was logged in, I uh, saved some really good bookmarks. When I then log in at home, I'm going to be able to access those same bookmarks so I don't have to go searching. I'm going to click, yes, I'm in. And I can see that my bookmarks have 
populate it over here. And I can see this blue diamond and the purple puzzle piece. So those are the Equatio and Read and Write extensions that the board has purchased the license for. And I also see some other extensions that I myself have downloaded as a teacher. We'll just give that a second to load. Now, um, some of you might get a pop-up that looks something like this, uh, particularly for Equatio and for Read and Write, those two extensions. This is another extension that I've actually downloaded as a teacher, but the concept is the same. So this extension is just asking me to verify that this is my account because it's the first time I'm logging into this device. It just wants to make sure that the information is linked properly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my account. And on this next screen, I'm just going to scroll down and click allow. So you might have to do that uh, the first time that you're logging into a specific device or the first time that you're actually accessing an extension. So there I am, I'm fully logged into my TCDSB Google account. And from this Google homepage, I can easily, through this waffle icon, when I click on it, access things like my Google Drive and Google Classroom. And if I do want to switch between this account and one of my personal accounts, all I have to do is go to that top circular icon click on it, and if I want to go to my TCDSB Assisted Tech account, I can click on that. And so you'll see, I, I don't have very many bookmarks here, um, just my Gmail and YouTube, um, but that's how I would switch between accounts. If I wanna go back to my TCDSB personal account, I will just click on that icon. So if you are wanting to log out of one of your accounts, I'll show you how to do that also. Again, I'm going to click on that top circular icon and I'm going to scroll down to the gear wheel, manage people. When I click on that, I get a listing of all of the accounts that I'm logged into the Chrome browser with and I am going to remove this school account. So I'm gonna to go to the top right corner of that icon and click on those three dots. That brings up a menu, and I'm gonna click remove this person. So there's a little uh, instruction box that comes up. It says that this person's browsing data will be deleted from this device. It might sound a bit scary. It's not going to delete any of your bookmarks or any of your extensions. All it's going to do is remove it from this particular device in this browser. So if you do log back in, everything that you had there before is going to still be available. So when I click remove this person, you'll see that um, I have my TCDSB assistive tech um, account open. And when I go into that top to switch between accounts, I don't see my TCDSB Google account anymore. So that is how you log in when you already are logged in with a different account and that's how you switch between accounts also.